Let's solve another thermodynamic problem. Uh, this will be a closed system, but not a rigid tank. Uh, this process will take place in a piston cylinder assembly. Refrigerant 22 undergoes a constant pressure process within a piston cylinder assembly from saturated vapor at four bar to a final temperature of 30 degrees C. Kinetic and potential energy effects are negligible. For the refrigerant, show the process on a PV diagram. Evaluate the work and heat transfer each in kilojoules per kilogram of refrigerant. Well, let's lay out our storyboard to solve this problem. We'll begin with a schematic. We have a piston cylinder assembly containing R22, and I've oriented it vertically to indicate that this is a constant pressure process. And I've drawn a boundary around the R22 molecules, so only the R22 is the system, not the cylinder. As always, uh, heat transferring energy into the system is positive Q, and an expanding piston is um, positive work. So let's look at the given data. Uh, state 1 is a saturated vapor at 4 bar. And state 2 has the same pressure. It's a constant pressure process and it has a temperature of 30 degrees C. Let's draw a PV diagram. The uh, process begins at state one, which is at four bar and it's a saturated vapor. So on a PV diagram, the uh, constant pressure line of four bar is a horizontal line and where it crosses the uh, saturated vapor line, uh, this is where state one exists. Now we need to know whether this process is heating or cooling. Um, <clears throat> so I looked up um, state one conditions in the R22 saturation table. So a saturated vapor at four bar uh, has a saturation temperature of minus 6.56 degrees C. And since the final temperature is 30 degrees C, we know this is a heating process. So we're going to uh, go to the right along this four bar line to state two, which is uh, at 30 degrees C. And as you recall on a PV diagram, a uh, constant temperature line goes down to the right. So this is our 30 degree C line and state two is right there. We're going to model this as a closed system. Uh, we're ignoring all kinetic and potential energy effects as being zero. It is a constant pressure process, and we want to find both the work and the heat transfer in units of kilojoules per kilogram of refrigerant. So let's define the work of a constant pressure process. It's the integral of P to V, which we have previously uh, reduced to the algebraic expression pressure times the change in specific volume. And uh, for an energy balance, because delta PE and delta KE are zero, we're left with delta U is Q minus W. Since we want to find Q, um, we can say that uh, Q is equal to delta U plus W. Or Q can be written, or I should say delta U can be rewritten as the mass times the change in um, specific internal energy. And if I divide both sides by the mass, I end up with Q over M, which is, um, we often signify as just a small Q. It's just the change in the specific internal energy plus W over M. Therefore, Q is simply uh, a change in specific internal energy plus the work done in a per unit uh, mass. So let's go to state one uh, and find U and V. And we'll use the R22 saturation table at a pressure of four bar. And we will find that the internal energy at state one is the internal energy of a saturated vapor. And that is 224.24 kilojoules per kilogram. And in the same location of the table, we'll find uh, V1, which is equal to V sub G. And we'll find that to be 0.0581 cubic meters per kilogram. Now let's find U and V values for state two. We're gonna find uh, that in the superheat table for R22. And the two independent properties uh, 
that we that defines state two are that it has a pressure of four bar and a temperature of 30 degrees C. I can find those values in the superheat table and I get find that U2 is 245.73 kilojoules per kilogram and V2 is equal to 0.06872 cubic meters per kilogram. Okay, so now I can calculate the work. We said that the work per unit mass is just the pressure of the process times the change in specific uh, volume. And we have all of those values at hand and we calculate the work to be 4.248 kilojoules per kilogram of refrigerant. Now that we have the work, we can calculate the heat transfer. We said that Q, which is heat transfer per uh, unit weight of refrigerant, is just the change in specific internal energy plus the work done per uh, unit weight. So U2 was given as 245.73 and U1 was given as 224.24. Both had units of kilojoules per kilogram. And we previously had calculated the work to be 4.248 kilojoules per kilogram. We have consistent units here, so we can add these terms. And we get that the heat transfer into the system uh, is 25.74 kilojoules per kilogram of refrigerant.